Hello everyone. Suppose you want to store and manage large amount of information such as customer data, sales figures, project plans and financial records. Then you know how important it is to learn creating a table in Excel. But here you can do this within a click. So this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a table in Excel with data. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here, at first, we have cell representatives in column B, the month names in column C to column H, and total cells in column I. Our target is to make this data set into a table so that we can use for the better benefit. So without any further discussion, let's create a table with this data set. In our first method, we'll use table feature from insert tab to create a table. At first, select any cell in this data set, go for insert tab and select table in the table section. Now. Create table dialog box will appear on the screen. Check correctly if the data range has been selected correctly or not. If everything is correct, then go for the tick my table has headers and click OK. Then you will see your data range have been converted into a table. You can choose any of the table design as you want. Now you can also change the headers by going for the home tab and select the text font color according to your wish. So that's table feature to create a table in Excel. We can also use format as table feature from the home tab to create the table here. At first, we can select any of the cell of the data range, go for the home tab and select the format as tables. You can go for any of the table design as you required. Now I'll select the light option here and in this section it will show the create table feature and in this dialog box you can go for the data range is correct or not. If everything is correct then tick the my table has headers and click OK to create a data range. So that's how you can easily use format as table to create a table in Excel. Now let's go for the most used keyboard shortcut to create a table. At first go for any of the cell in the data range. Now press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard and select the whole data range and open the create dialog box. Now check correctly if everything has been selected or not. Now if everything is correct then go for tick the my table has headers and click OK to create a new table. So. That's how you can easily use the keyboard shortcut to create a table in Excel. In our new method, we'll apply VBA code to create a table. At first, go for the developer tab, select visual basic to open the visual basic editor. Go for the insert and select module to open a new visual basic module section. As I have already my code written here in the notepad, so I will copy it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it in the Visual Basic Alberter by using Ctrl plus V. So let's talk about the VBA code a bit. In the first line, we have subcreate table. This line signifies the start of a subroutine called create table. After that, we have sheets VBA. This portion means the worksheet named VBA on which the table will be created. But here you can replace the VBA with the name of the actual worksheet where you are currently working. In this next section, we have list objects. This portion is a method used to add a new table to the new worksheet. This portion collects and represents all the tables in the worksheet. After that, we have add Excel range dot portion. This portion is an argument specify the source of data of the table. In this case, it indicates that the data for the table will be sourced from a range and 
after this section we have also defined the range here we have selected the range b4 to i13 and as separator we have used comma and in this section we have got for the logical excel yes section we have gone for the excel as yes this argument specifies whether the first row of the range contains header for the table or not excel yes also indicates that the first row range contains headers if it got correctly then it will show the perfect name in the next section as we have got dot name sales info so we have assigned the name as the sales info you can easily change the sales info name into your desired wish at last we have in subsection which signifies the end of the subroutine so let's go for the run and click on the run section and in this menu worksheet you can see a table has been created according to your information so that's how you can easily use VBA code to create a table in this new method we already have a main table where the cells representative in the B column genders in the C column and cells in the D column now by using this main table we want to create a new table where we can separate male and female in different columns at first we'll go to the f6 cell and insert the if error function the if error function basically checks whether there is an error occurs or not if it finds any kind of error then it will show the specified value after that we'll use the index function the index function returns a value of reference of the cell that introduction of a particular row or column for the given range after that we'll go for the selected cell here it has three parameters array row number column number at first we'll select the column which is in this case b6 to b14 and to make it permanent we'll go for f4 in the keyboard after that we'll go for our next section row number in this section we'll use the small function which basically returns the smallest value of the data set now in this section we'll insert the if function as array now we're gonna easily select the logical test as logic we'll go for the c column we'll select c6 to c14 and to make it permanent we'll use f4 in the keyboard and it must be equal to the function which is in this case at first section we'll find male and to make it permanent we'll go for the f4 in the keyboard in next section we'll go for the value if true in this section we'll use the row function for the cell reference in this case we can easily select the d6 to d14 and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard now we'll use the minus sign to subtract 5 from it after that we'll go for the next section which is value if false in this section we'll go for the false option as it's trying to get the false result after that we'll go for our next section and we'll go for the row reference again it shows the reference of the cell in this case again and now we'll subtract 5 from it after that we'll go for the double quotation and insert a comma and value if false that it will have the perfect result if we click the enter button then get our perfect first result now drag down the formula to use it to every cell so we have got the name of the male cells representative here in the column f now we can do the same for the female also but before that we'll copy the same formula by using ctrl plus c go for the g column which is in the g6 cell insert the same formula here but we'll try to just change one thing here as male representative we have used the f5 cells but if we cut it down and now go for the g5 cell and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard and press the enter button to get the result for the female representative if you drag down the formula then you'll get the same result for every cell but suppose you want to do things with much more efficiency then you can go for the only f6 cell and change the formula a little bit here we have gone for the f5 in the keyboard but you can also go for the f4 in the keyboard and make it f5 this portion means that it will absolute only the fifth row 
but the F column can be changed. So if you click the enter button, then get the result for the F6 cell. Drag down the formula to get the result, but this time you can easily go for from left to right to get the result for. Now we have separated the male and female in different F and G column. Now we'll convert both the tables into a creating table section. So select B5 to D14 section and press Ctrl plus T to create a table. Stick on my table is headers and click OK to convert it into a new table. We can do the same thing for the created table section here. We'll again select the range, again press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard, tick my table has headers, OK and now convert it as a new table. So that's how you can easily use the combination of functions to create table from another table in Excel. We want to create a table without the data. To do that, at first, we need to go and select the data range where we want to create a table. Now, we'll press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard to open Create Table dialog box. If the data range has been selected correctly, then go out and press OK. After that, you will see the table have been created without the data. Now, you will see the table columns have headers of column 1 to column 6. That's how we can easily create table without data. But you can easily change the name, headers or entry any kind of data where you need to insert it. We have already got a table but now we want to add row to this existing table. To do that, at first we'll go to the right corner of the table and drag the table down to the left side. Then we'll see we have got a new row here. You can easily add the data here to get the perfect result. You can also go for the middle section to insert a new row in the middle of a table. You can easily go for the left side of the table and right click on it. Now you will have an insert option. If you click on the insert, then you'll get a new row inserted in the middle of the table. So that's how you can easily add new row to the existing table. We want to create a pivot table in Excel. To do that, at first, we'll go to the cell of the data range and go for the insert tab. Here, select the pivot table and go for the form table or range option. If you click on it, then the pivot table from dialog box will get open in the section. Select the data range from B4 to I13 as your required cell and now you can select new worksheet for the pivot table to be inserted. Press OK, then you will see in a new worksheet you have got your pivot table. But in the pivot table field section, you can go for the selection which cells you want to show and which cells you don't want to show. In this case, I will show every cell so I can select every cell here and now you have got your perfect result. You can easily modify them as you want to wish. That's how you can easily create pivot table in Excel. We want to remove the table from the data range. At first, select any cell of the table. Then in the menu bar, you will see there is a table design option. If you click on the table design, then you'll got your tool section where you have convert to range section. If you click on the convert to range, then you'll have a confirmation section. Here, you'll select yes to get the perfect data range in this section. Now, we have created a new data range by removing the table here. So that's how you can easily remove table in Excel. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.